Hi YouTube, welcome back to a new video of Boy and Pulse Game here. And today I'm showing you my bits. Let's not talk about how many shots I just missed there. Anyway, here you can see my base. There's my front door there, farms, and the lookout point. I would use an end pole if I hadn't wasted them. I will find this little cave down here. I'll just help with some shroom lights. Before we go in, I want to show you the outside. This place, in case you're wondering why it looks bad. Creepers. Lots of creepers. But anyway, if I go up. Same thing happened to this creepers. But anyway, as you can see here, I have a village over there. Pillager outpost. There's a temple, massive cave, and over there, massive savanna biome. Let's go down. Um, on my door, if you've been on the, like, the Minecraft lab episodes, you'll know how in the airlock there's, like, a water purification system built another one here you have observers at, looking at the door redstone on top going into a dispenser and whenever it's opened water will go down whenever it closes water disappears simplest things are the best things I used to have a my belt system down here, but water source um, accidentally broke it. Water went down, went all the way down there, and pushed all of the rails, to torches, and everything into lava. Moving on up here, um, we have crops. I need to harvest them soon. They're basically all done. We have sugar cane. Um, we will upgrade this to an automatic farm soon. But um, I'm happy to do it manually. Also, have a fairly quick cobblestone generator. As soon as it starts realizing these two block updates, as you can see, I'm very quickly waste my entire pickaxe on this. As you can see, nine cobblestone just like that. This is lit up by shroom lights, which you get from the Nether. I like the way I've done the bubble formation. From here, you can just about see that pillager outpost. Fine, you know what, let's do the harvest. Do I have a hoe? I do not have a hoe. I have another chest here. Oh, I do have two pad rails there. Problem is, they're not enough. I feel like something I've not done yet in this video even though it's not fully gone, simply because I can't break them, I can make them all at the same time. 
as you can see, I just shove everything into here. It starts disappearing, and it gets sorted out here. It's quite fancy. Moving on downwards. We have another portal that takes us into a forest, a white forest. This isn't spreading. I think it's because it's meant to spread to netherrack. I think it's about time we take down this massive um, dirt formation thing. I only meant to have it as a temporary thing so we could climb up to the nether portal. I mean, like the nether rack. But then I ended up building it up because I thought, oh, it'd be cool if I had something to run all the water from. Yep. When I do MLG water, it's kind of a maybe you will, maybe you won't moment for me. If you know what I mean. Why don't I get around to fixing this? Now that I have loads of dirt. I'll kind of go an overlap here because I have a very small idea of what I can do. Look, I'm gonna do that. Then I go through here. to see, see my sneakiness. Do I have any torches? No. Got a redstone torch. Get it. Give me light. But anyway, here you have a one block gap you can swim through. And if I bring myself signs next time, you'll see where that's going. This needs to be leveled out so it's a bit of a smoother rise. going to bring this bit out a bit more. <laughs> so now it's a lot more pleasant to walk up here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I have an aquarium. Hello fishies. Hello. How's it doing in there? Okay, bye guys, I'm not going to upload this video.